A huge shout out to my awesome tier 3 members, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wanderer, and Matthew Hall. Thank you very much for your support, it means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 minutes today, Darkness Falls mod. So I have been a little bit busy during night time. Um, it just turned morning, so I'm getting you guys back. I went and I wrenched this vehicle over here. I wrenched the ice cooler that was over here. Uh, I think the, the car we did together. I uh, finished wrenching the concrete mix over there, and we also finished wrenching all of that stuff over there. So we have a ton of resources now. I am making myself some grilled food. Uh, just because we are running really, really low on proper food. So I had to do this just now. That's going to give me 8 food. Yeah, okay. So see, we are very low on food. We have a ton of supplies, but just not everything we need to make it. So what I want to do this episode is we're going to do as much questing as possible. See if we can't also do her quest. Um, I took apart all the arrows we had, except for this one over here, apparently. We just do that, and then you can actually, if you have the feathers and stuff, make yourself some. As you guys know, we had a stack of like 50-something steel arrows. And I actually put that into the forge on that side over there. Well, not the forge, the workstation. So now we have a vehicle. Uh, I should probably just see if we can't work a little bit more on our sexual transformers over here. Athletics level 20. So I need to sprint with this thing as much as possible. Just use shift as much as possible. Because basically, the more you run around, the more your athletics or your stamina and stuff goes up. And the more likely you are to be able to invest in the stamina then. I need to make sure that we don't run out of stamina at all. So we're first going to use the scrap iron ones and then the steel ones. A nice one is, a nice thing is the steel ones we can use whenever we need. Let me just see, where is this? So I'm going to go for this one first. And then we're going to go for the man, man eater over there. I want to see how long it is going to take to do this deck quest though. And then someone said I need to sprint and then just tap W. So I'm holding down shift, but I'm tapping W and it doesn't affect your stamina as much. You still drive fast, well, relatively. Uh, but you... Well, then again, no, I think it's... If you hold it down, you actually go a little bit faster. But I mean, that's a little bit. So, it's just a way for us to not worry about losing stamina while we're driving. Although, what I usually just do is I wait until it's like 50%. And then I think from there, we're going to tap, 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 and we'll start going back up again. Yeah, it's actually going up when we're tapping. Nice. Okay, there's vehicle... I should actually range all of these... You know what? I am. I'm going to wrench all the uh, tires and stuff we come across right now. Also, guys, I made one repair kit, and damn, is it expensive. Uh, basically, I needed to repair my wrench over here. And, yeah, it's, it takes, like, one wheel and for uh, forged iron and two duct tape and, 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 and just a ton of resources. So, we need to be careful not just to waste our stuff, because repairing these things is going to take a while. Was that another wheel just now? Yes. See, unfortunately, since we don't have the mechanic class, we can't make wheels. Oh, are you kidding me? Right in the middle of the dam. Okay, the nice thing about these treasures, however. Okay, so I'm going to accept it. Um, this is the first time accepting one in Darkest Falls. I need to dig outside and in. Oh, all of a sudden there's a ton of zombie, act uh, zombie action over here. It's a shame there's no tree next to us. Because if I, could go, if I go away from this position right now, I'm going to fail this quest. Stay away. I'm going to turn off my light. They shouldn't be able to hear me. We can fit in my uh, one by one hole. So that's what I'm going to go for right now. I want to show you guys why this mod is my fave when it comes to digging like this. Come on, come on, come on. As soon as we're in one hole, it should show. Look at this. So you can, you can see exactly where the treasure is for this. But remember, we have to be careful. Because in Alpha 20, zombies can also crawl by, through one by one. So I mustn't think I'm safe because I can crawl through it. Zombies can also. Also, you can only go so far in a diamond shape like this. Uh, after a while, you will get stuck. Oh, it seems I'm actually not getting stuck. Um, in Alpha 19, what I used to do is just make this tunnel too wide. And then you don't get stuck as often on the shape. But it's basically this... On the one hand, I feel like it's like cheating, like cheesing it. I mean, like, being able to see where it is, that's definitely cheesing it, right? But on the other hand, just digging over here, you're, you're lying on your stomach digging down. So that's not too bad of a cheating, I feel. I just hope these zombies don't glitch through the ground over here and hit my head. What's that? There's something right over there. I wonder if that's a start of like a cave or something. Again, then down over here. We are going to get zombies spawning in and stuff, so hopefully they don't spawn right above our heads. Please tell me all the dig quests are going to be this easy. Oh, I missed this mod. Oh, nice. That was really worth it. How many zombies? How many zombies? 
Okay, so technically I should be able to just get out here. Yep. Let them come to us when they get some XP. There's a ton of zombies in the vicinity as well. If all of these zombies can come for us and we can just kill all of them every time we do a dig. Oh, yes! More XP! Oh, stamina, stamina, stamina. Oh, lovely. While we wait for the zombies to come to us, we're just getting a ton of resources. I actually feel like I'm throwing a Molotov on those three zombies over there. But as soon as the Molotov hits, I just have this feeling they're going to move apart. I need to be able to just use power attacks all the damn time. Okay, yeah, but we should probably just go kill all these zombies that are stacked like this. Obviously, if we just do the quest, hand in, quest, hand in, we will get rewards and stuff, so it's definitely worth doing that. Let me just test this. Did I just hit all three of them? Oh, they died fast. Look at this. Ooh, Molotovs are OP as hell. I can't wait to actually try that with my wood base. Although we need to be careful. We can't afford to waste all our Molotovs it's gonna, if it's going to be that effective. I'm just loving the fact that I'm getting so much stuff for uh, infections. But yeah, now I also want to try. Ooh, and there's a blue bag. Nice. Although, damn, that's a blue bag. I thought I already had it unlocked, so why did it show that I don't have the recipe yet? There's actually a wolf in the background. We should be able to one-shot wolves now, especially if we are crouched. So that's going to be fun. Uh, we do need the meat. Yeah, let's just ignore it for now. I do need the meat, but let's just see how many quests we can actually get done today. The nice thing is, if we come across another wolf or something... Just crouch, uh, shoot them in the head, and then voila, that's all we need. I mean, we were able to actually decap a few wolves just with a bow and arrow. So now with a proper crossbow, this might just come in handy. I wonder actually how long it's going to take. So sometimes I play this mod and then I'm, I get bored because it gets too easy and I just up the difficulty, right? I want to see how far I can play on Nomad, just keeping a Nomad. The next series, we can worry about other stuff. Oh, I should have actually gone for that over there. Oh, that was dumb. What direction I'll is that? You good, but if you East. Me, you'll, uh, shake your hand. Okay, uh, you let's just get away. Molotovs because they're also OP. Any jobs? East, please, East. Oh, everything reset. That's right. Oh, well, clear zombie quests aren't that bad, so we'll do that. It's a deal. But what I want to do quickly is, I just want to see, should we quickly go do the other... Yeah, let's go do this one first. I want to hand it into her and get a few new quests as well. We don't want to just do his quest. The more quests we do in general, the better I feel. No, it's going to be this way. I'm actually hoping we come across a few new zombies and stuff. Just get our XP up. Guys, we only level 4 at the moment. We need to be level 10 to do what we want to do. I don't know if I'm just... I, if I want to progress too fast. Or if uh, this is just really slow progression and it's, it's right that I want to progress a lot faster. So please don't tell me... Okay. Rome that was going to be like, oh, please don't tell me we're going to the wasteland, but I forgot it's the other direction. Hello, lady, lady, lady. Oh, nice hit. Oh, you're not dead. Yeah, you are dead. Every burst since we come across, I should probably just try and do this. Because we do still have some steel arrowheads left, so... If I can get lucky right now and get some more feathers... Okay, you didn't drop anything. If I can get lucky with some more feathers right now, this can help tremendously. Nice. Okay, that was a really nice shot just now. I just need to keep this aim up. We do have a chicken over there, but it's running too erratically. If I went for the chicken first, we might have probably been able to get its feathers. But I was just afraid that I was going to spook this guy, and we need the meat. Only 15. That's rather surprising. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. I wonder. How much meat will I get from a bear? Is it going to be worth the effort right now? All I need to do is throw a Molotov down and it's going to burn like crazy. I should probably hit it with a steel arrow. Let's do that. Please a headshot. Please a headshot. Please a headshot. Oh, crap. I don't know if it drops uh, short. Nice. Oh, it actually did quite a bit of damage. Nice. I have no idea how fast this thing is. Oh, it's actually dying nice so fast. 
It's nice and toasty. Imagine it cooked the food. Oh wait, why is he not burning? Oh, he is. Imagine the fire cooked the food for us and we just picked up like cooked food. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be rather awesome. <laughs> I actually these days compare a lot of stuff against Minecraft because I'm, I keep watching a few videos like from Dream and George at Founding People. So that's why I'm like, oh wow, that'd be cool. You set an animal light, kill it, and then it's cooked food just like that. Come on, stamina. At least the resources and stuff you're starting to get right now is really, really good. We just need to reach level 10 so we can get that medium backpack. With a medium backpack, we'll be able to get so much more done. <laughs> I should probably also see if we can get the Needle and Thread Volume 7. If I'm not mistaken, that's the one you need to make yourself pocket mods. I was level up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Just do this. Just quickly get myself a little bit of fruit over here. For those of you who don't know, later you are going to need fruits for certain classes. So getting it now is going to help you tremendously. I think you need to like, uh, for the farmer class, you need to plant these things. So when we come across them now, I'm just going to start gathering them and then later we'll have all the fruits we need. Should probably just not, go, uh, just, I'm at the moment just running everywhere and just hitting everything and breaking everything. I need to be careful not to run out of stamina and all of a sudden there's a wolf next to me. I think that's going to rather suck. Oh, I almost forgot. We can put stuff on our bike. Okay, so before I fight a few zombies over here, let's just see what I can drop. Uh, let's go for weapons first. You know what? Let's use this. The side effects sometimes are not worth it. But if we can get lucky and get a ton of looting done while we're on this stuff. Man, I love the knocked out effect. <laughs> it looks like in a boxing match, he did a KO and he just drops. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, um. Wait. Nice, everything's unlocked at the moment. Man eater. Should probably just do this. Let all the zombies come to us. If they stand still, they need to come to us. Come on. I don't want to waste all the ammo over right, uh, right, uh, Yeah, all the ammo we have right now. I keep stuttering of it, but I'm thinking while I'm playing over here, and that's messing me up. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, all of you come to me, come to me, come to me. Just don't run out of stamina, John. Just don't run out of stamina right now. Nice, there you go. All of them on fire, all of them are gonna die. We just need to kill one of these zombies for the quest and look at them. <laughs> Man, oh yes. Now I don't have to waste duct tape to make my own and we got steel. It seems this is the strategy to have, guys. Just make sure you get all of the zombies in a circle. Throw one Molotov, and then boom. So I hope for Horde Knight, the Molotovs are going to be just as effective. Because that means if I can make a base from electric fence posts, slow them down, and just throw a few Molotovs, they'll burn to death. Although, when it comes to demons and stuff, I doubt that's going to work. Oh, crap. Steel arrows, so we can't afford to miss. Oh! That shot and then zoomed in. Ooh, mini bike chassis. What's with my luck all of a sudden? Okay, so we're gonna drop this stuff over here. Uh, drop, drop, drop. We have a rifle, so... And it's a normal hunting rifle. Yes. Nice. Okay. Uh, I don't know how long that's gonna last, though. Still three more minutes on this thing. Ooh, can we do it? I need to go loot this place and then go to the trader. Hopefully it only wears off as soon as we get to the trader, then. But you guys, I'm getting all the apples and all the oranges stuff we can get right now. I think it's only apples and oranges, although I do know like in the desert, there are other trees and stuff as well. So I don't know if we're gonna also going to have to do like coconuts and bananas and stuff. Or if the quest only requires you to do this. Hello, survivor. Um, Are you kidding me? There you go. I'm not going to run after you, especially not with a crossbow. I should probably make sure the crossbow is always reloaded. So we don't have to worry later. But every single chicken I come across, I should try and kill with my pistol. Just one shot. All those feathers for all those crossbow bolts is going to be definitely worth the trade-off. 
you know, let's go, let's just go. I want to pick up all these fruits and uh, vegetables and stuff we're driving past right now. I think at the moment we do have quite a bit of stuff. Just see, have I looted these? I should actually also get into the habit of destroying these as you go. I do know there is a modlet that it can install. That as soon as something is looted, it just destroys it like a bird's nest. And I love that because I don't loot stuff twice. I play with loot respawn off. So those chests or those nests will never have good loot in them. So I'd actually really love uh, the option of just turning it so that it just disappears. Okay, this will give me some springs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's going to give us some steel. Oh, a ton of steel. But for now, I'm going to wait until that skill is high enough. Otherwise, it's just going to be a waste. I do need to drive around town over here a bit and just see what house I can take over. It needs to be a rather square concrete building, but I don't think this town actually has one. Wait, have we done this one before? It feels like we have. No, we have not. I would have remembered this one. Okay, so this is just a clear quest. I should probably, you know, wait, 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 wait. let me just close that door. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being stuck in a small room like this and all of a sudden getting attacked. I need to work on my mining skills a bit, I think. If I can just invest one, oh, one point there, just one, they will be able to two-shot the couches. That's going to help tremendously. Okay, springs, definitely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's scrap polymers at the moment. I don't need it. It's a level one clear quest. So I don't know how many zombies are going to be here. Ah, um, ooh, I want to repair that. But as soon as we repair level 20, it's going to be level 15. I want to see how many shots this takes. We just do need to get some uh, cobble and stuff as well. See, I might just have to just save up a bit and just bite the bullet and take uh, get myself like a proper iron one. There is an iron one for like 2,000, but it's going to definitely do way more damage than a steel or a scrap, uh, scrap iron one. Ooh, I can wear this one. Thank you. I'm going to be faster now. Cold resist, heat resist. Let's go for heat resist. Grab that one and let's go. Ooh, steroids ran out. Not good, not good. Where did we go? Oh, you go over here. I'm not mistaken. You go up over here. You jump over here. You jump over here. There's no birds, right? I don't know if you're supposed to go this direction. Now that I see it like this, I don't think we're supposed to. Although, who knows? Uh, it'll show us where we've missed zombies and stuff. So for now, I'm just going to do it this way. I need to make sure that we definitely wrench every single bed and stuff we come across, guys. Especially these big beds. Look at that. Six springs. And we're going to need springs for so much stuff. It's going to be insane. Okay, so we need to get upstairs somehow. There needs to be a proper way to, uh, to pour through this place. So I think I messed up. Let's just break down this door and see where it leads. Because we came from that door, so it makes sense that we go through here. If I knew that unlocking a door, lockpicking a wooden door like this is 100%, I'd actually use my lockpicks. Hello. Oops. Oh, she gets through. I thought I was going to use the door trick to keep her out, and then whoop, she's in front of me. Oh, there's a zombie leg over there, but I can't get them. I want these zombies to get to me like now because I'm making a ton of noise. And I'm going to turn my back and not be prepared and all of a sudden they jump on me. It sucks when you're making this much noise they don't wake up. You step on a piece of paper and the whole building wakes up. Oh, it's this place. Yeah, I know this place. I think I've looted this place quite a few times already. Might be zombies from above, and you be careful. But I think, yep, they're coming from this side. I know there is one building with like a ton of dogs and stuff on the roof, so I have to be careful of that place. As long as it's not that place, we should be fine. You know what? We have one skill point, or two rather. Let's go for. It's not the weapon one. Skills minus 69er. We'll do a little bit more damage to blocks. So you'll see now, instead of doing one shot, or two shots and a third one over here, we're just going to do two. Yeah, look at that. That's so much of an improvement, because that saves you that third swing. That waste of stamina. I need to be careful. If I'm not mistaken, there's a trick to this place. It might just be my imagination, but I need to be careful. 
not to take any unnecessary chances right now. Like, if I'm not mistaken, there might be a dog or something hiding somewhere. Could just be my imagination, though, so I shouldn't overthink stuff as well. We don't want to go through a place so slow that it's annoying to you guys. Oh, I need to check behind the paintings as well. I'm not sure if it's this mod or, like, Zombie Days or something, but I know some of them, you can actually sell the paintings as well. I think it's more likely in the mods that you can actually pick the paintings up. Yeah, ooh, blueberry, thank you. Scrap, scrap, scrap. This one is way better. Unfortunately, it takes away from my run speed, though. Uh, where... See, heat resistant, cold resist, and then obviously we need armor. So for now, I'll keep the other one on until we get, uh, like, a ton of damage. But I need to consider swapping those out. Okay, we need to make ourselves way more crossbow bolts. Oh, yeah, it's this place. That's the trick it has to it. I'm just glad these aren't feral burn victims. Feral burn victims are actually still on fire. Okay, only one zombie left. Nice. I know some of these places, um, there's one POI where there's dogs, and there's also a cave-in floor. So you have to run past a dog on a cave-in cave floor, get to a certain uh, point, and then try and take the zombies out that way. You don't tell me it's this POI. With all the cave-in floors and stuff, it just feels like it might be. Hello, hello, hello. There's nothing you can fall my head. Oh, from what I thought he's dead. I was like, wow, he dropped like a sack of potatoes. It's nice when you're actually able to kill the zombies fast. Oh, scrap iron spear. If I'm not mistaken, the spear's reach is like way, way better right now. Wrong tool, thank you. And the nice thing is we're going to be able to get to these chests, oh, these crates way, way faster now as well. Because of the fact that I went into the mining skill just a little bit. Teensy weensy a little bit. Come on, I want to get in there. I need to be careful of my stamina though. I don't want to waste stamina right now. Oh, I need to repair this. Look, as soon as I repair this, it's going to go from level 20 to like level 15. Watch. Because my tools are only 1 out of 10. If my tool skill or tool perk was 2 out of 10... Well, out of five. Oh, yeah, out of five. If my tool crafting was uh, was over here, then that would not lose any quality right now, durability. But it is going to lose durability because it's only one out of five. Okay, where's my bicycle? <laughs> I actually lost track of my bike just now. Wait, what? Oh, I parked on this side. So, we need to make sure we get... Guys, we need level 10. That's the only thing we can do right now. We need that medium backpack for more storage. We have so little storage, we have to go back to the base. Or either we have to get ourselves like a ton of steroids, but the demand for water is actually really high, like the side effect. You need so much water if you keep taking steroids the whole time. Although, I could have sworn there was also like an effect where you can get addicted to it, but I don't know if that was just my imagination or not. Because if you take too much steroids, that's addictive, right? So, I, I, for, for some reason, I just have this feeling that they mentioned somewhere in, um, in Seminary Sedaya that you can actually get addicted to stuff. Okay, grab all that. Pick this up. Close that door. And now we are super slow. <laughs> okay, but we can hand in quests to both traders. Nice. To the lady and to this dude. Okay, let's see. Oh, Iron Fire Axe. Yes. Well, hunting rifle's also good. But I'll go for the Iron, to, uh, the iron Fire Axe for now. Uh, any jobs for me? Very, very close by, please. Southwest. I don't want to accidentally go into the bad biome. We can't afford to go into the radiated biome right now. Okay, and then this lady quickly, and then we just have to hand everything in, or uh, just sort everything. Pipe machine gun, that's actually really good right now. Because we do need to shoot stuff. Mineral water, we have water, so I'll go for the machine gun. Then at least we have a... Like a uh, damage per second weapon. Help me? Lady killer. Ooh, that's going to be close to that biome. At least it's not in the biome as what far as I can tell. For? So we might be able to do it. But guys, this is the problem right now. Our chest is getting so full. And look at this. Just from adding a few more things, it's completely full now. Bag of trail mix. Yeah, why not? I need to eat and drink anyways to fill myself up. So I need to see that we use the least, like the smallest stacks. Because then at least we're going to save some space as well. 
See, I have a ton of stuff over here that I need to drop right now. Damn. Uh, let's see. That's a weapon, weapon, weapon tool. Uh, that is over here. Boom, boom, boom. I need more space. I need so much more space. Okay, that's technically ammo. Oh, what I also wanted to see. We can make ourselves some more of this. And some iron ones. I don't know if I should go for iron because we don't have a ton of iron right now. So I think we should go for stone ones since we have a ton of stone. But with a crossbow bolt, it's already going to be way, way more powerful. Okay, so now I need to eat and drink. This one's going to give us what? 10? Is that all? That was just a fancy drink for nothing. Uh, we can cook this one and then... I need space, but this is not going to clear up all the space that I need. I can cook this one at least. Oh wow, that takes quite a bit, right? I didn't think it was going to take that long to cook. Okay, we can actually repair this one. It actually surprises me how long that one water takes to boil. Turn on, and then I can repair this one and sell it. I hope we can actually sell that one for quite a bit. Do this. Okay, so, lamb rations. I'm just going to eat that to make me full. Because that's already going to clear up a slot for me. And then I need to drop all this, this, this. And now we have this over here. Damn. I'm just going to scrap that. Why not? And I think I should actually make myself a proper storage box over here. Instead of just a uh, chest, I need to actually make storage. So let's just see that quickly. Storage. Rideable storage box. We need nails. Because what I could do now is I could sink it into the building. And what I mean by that is we can go and destroy the uh, block it's on. And then just inside the wall put the storage. That's going to actually hide it a bit as well. Okay, that's going to sell for 50... Ah, it's not really that worth it, is it? We're going to make four of these quickly. And then we're just going to put that in the wall. But actually putting it in the wall is going to be a pain. I'm going to drop stuff that I know we can drop. Wait, did I just drop all? I could have sworn I didn't click all, but I definitely dropped all just now. I just want to drop resources for now. Yeah. I realized a few episode or two back, I accidentally dropped resources in like the food chest over here. So I need to be so careful of how I drop stuff right now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 12. Which means I can do this. Now all I need to do is stack up over here. I, I'm quickly going to cut away and just do this so it looks nice for you guys. Okay, so I managed to put everything inside the wall of here. For some reason, the HD texture is not working. Uh, but yeah, I replaced all of the chests. I actually made it into the wall of here. We can actually do it with all of these blocks. That block there, that block there. All of this can be our storage. And then we just need to put traps and stuff over here so this place doesn't fall. Or just reinforce this wall to be like steel or something. <laughs> that way, even if it falls, we don't have to worry about stuff. So we can make 13 more steel arrows. Um, I wonder. Yeah, let's just quickly do that over here. The nice thing is we just have to put in the, uh, the workbench over here and then voila. I should probably make myself a workbench as well. We can always later claim the trader, just pick our stuff up and move. Well, it's going to be better than having to, uh, to come out here the whole time. Because every time you come out here, it's a danger to yourself. You don't know what's going to attack you while you're waiting for stuff to craft. The nice thing is at least now it gives me a chance to quickly wrench this car complete. Um, I think we're going to try and see if we can't wrench this whole or do this whole town. I want to see, uh, though, how fast can we get ourselves a minibike? Because if we have the minibike, then we don't have to worry too much about driving around. I want to map out where the wasteland is and then where we can and can't go. There's a treasure map up there, so I'm rather curious. I, I want to take the road and just see where it leads. Um, I wonder if there's a way to check what this map looks like. I think if you go into this, uh, to the system file somewhere, you're you actually able to see that, right? Basically, I just want to see what this map, where everything lies. So I know more or less where we want to go to. The moment we are at, well, we're actually very far east to the right. So we could go to the middle, but I think the middle of here is just massive wasteland. There's like a very big circle of wasteland in the middle, and then all around there's other, re uh, the other biomes. That's something we need to keep in mind when we're doing everything right now. Yeah, as you guys can see, now we have a nice little bit of storage going over here. We need more nails, so we can actually put ourselves a few more boxes over here. Uh, what I want to do... Workbench. What do we need for the workbench? Okay, 25 forge and 20 mechanical. Uh, do this. 1, 2, 3, 4. And workbench. Oh yeah, and this mod, guys, uh, for those who don't know, you don't need tools to make the workbenches, but the tools go inside the workbenches. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna put this over here for now. I could technically make myself a few more. I, I could even make scrap iron ones. Let me just see. Bolts, bolts, bolts. Scrap iron crossbow bolt. Scrap iron head. What do you need to make the scrap iron head? Scrap iron head. Ah, scrap tool crafting. <laughs> uh, what's the recipe for this one? Just iron. So the iron we have on us. See, if I can make myself like a whole stack of this, this already on this difficulty is more than enough, I feel. Okay, we do need to see if we can't sell most of the stuff we have on us. Because we have actually have quite a bit of crap on us that we really don't need at the moment. I'm just keeping this on me so that if we die of some ammo, because you don't want to die, spawn very far away, and then you're screwed. The nice thing is, even no, you're not. I don't need to. I can actually put it up here. And I'll tell you why now. If you direct your attention to this and this and this, and we have this ammo, if we were to die, we don't have to worry, oh damn, all my pistol ammo is there. Because we'll have other ammo to deal with as well. 1.8k gas. So I just need a mini bike. And I want to I want to see over here. Mini bike. Handlebars. See, we need grease monkey or vehicles for dumb shits. So the more we loot right now, the better. I'm actually curious to see if we go down over here, is this the extent of the town or is there more? I should probably just take my bicycle and just drive uh, next to the wasteland over here. Um, I think what we need to do next episode is we're going to go for this clear. And then we're going to drive up next to the wasteland all the way to over here. So I want to see uh, more or less the border of this place. But I think for now, that is it. If you guys like this episode, please like it share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback that I miss anything, what I think about this episode, anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for more some, for some more Darkness Falls fun. Wait. Oh no. Hello. Oh okay. yeah, some bonus content quickly. I don't want to worry about these guys breaking in next time. It seems like it might be a mini wandering horde. Although, I don't know if it's just because they're walking next to the wood that it sounds like there's so many of them. Come on, you need to have 30 stamina to be able to do a power attack. And the power attack seems to be the fastest way to deal with all of these zombies. Okay, at least 15. Oh, there you go. Left click. You're going to bleed out. What are you? Zombie stripper. You look like a cheerleader. Your life has taken a turn for the worst, hasn't it? This does seem like a wandering horde. So it's a little bit of a bonus content for you guys. You know what? Are you kidding me? That was point blank range. If I can do this and a left click, that's going to save us some time. Although having to reload the bolt every time, that went straight through his face just now. Okay, uh, reload. Please don't tell me you guys actually broke in just now. I don't know if this is just random zombies or if this is actually a wandering horde right now. It could be that I just made so much noise in the area that they decided to come for me. Oh, hello, 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 hello. What do you have for me? We have eggs. We can actually make ourselves some more bacon and eggs now. Now we have four eggs. You are dead. Okay, and it seems that was the mini wandering hall just now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and see you guys next time. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.